So you look nice. Thank you. I'm doing my best. Very beautiful uh, outfit over here. Doing my best Terry Hans impression. Yes. You did awesome. <laughs> so the 2022 Europe Strongest Man has been is over for this year. Uh, new champion. Yeah, new champion. New champion in Alexei Novikov. Yeah. Uh, with the current world 2021 champion Luke Stoneman in second place. Uh, all in all, very good competition the way it was laid out. Uh, some of the events different to what they were last year. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I thought it was a good show. It was a good show. Giants Live doesn't disappoint. They don't disappoint. No, no it's, they don't. Some, like, I, one thing I noticed that when I got the, the stream at the start, mm. you know, the stream was a bit fuzzy at the very start. Mm -hmm. What, first five minutes, four yeah. minutes? Just when the athletes were walking out after that, yeah. there was no trouble. No. And there's actually not many shows that do a live stream that say that the. Mm. To have never to never have trouble so i wonder what it is it's just the cost probably i don't know i don't know but i just think even just giant slave they just know what they're doing they just yeah to me live stream is the way to go you know 100 percent, 100 then you get to scream shout throw it <laughs> once somebody's not doing well you know that you support yeah 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 and then the wife tells you to shut the hell up as well. <laughs> it sends you to another room so you can you scream know, and shout a bit yeah more you can it. throw over there and yeah. scream and shout and <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so all in all, yeah, again, good good stuff from good, Giants Live. Good stuff from Giants Live. So like we were saying in the prediction video, there was five events in total yeah. for, the, for the competition. Uh, so we started off with the max log lift. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this year there was no new record held <coughs> or no, no record set. No, it was tried. People tried the 230. Yeah. So we had uh, Luke Stoneman and Iron Bibby. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so Bibi was again close enough, but uh, just leaning to the left. Yeah, again, whatever these issues he's yeah. having with that left side, he's, it seems like it's very hard for him to fully lock it out and hold in that position. So I think after two third attempt, he pointed to his left uh, shoulder. Yeah. And uh, so, but can he do two third the next year? I, I just don't know. It depends yeah. what kind of issues he's having. It seems like. When he got 229, he was uh, kind of was a bit controversial. You can say that as yeah, well yeah. with his lockouts and elbow positionings and all that stuff. A lot of speculations there. Was it a nice clean or not? Yeah. Uh, is it a nice press or not? But uh, now it seems it's the same issue, and he he didn't really address it over the years. So, so well, one, one thing I've noticed that Iron Baby is that his right side seems to be okay with Strong, the two thirty, yeah, but it's just yeah. his left, like you were saying, just whatever, yeah. probably something underlying there that he doesn't know, yeah. and it's just letting him down. But yeah. uh, for the rest of the athletes anyway, so we had the two guest athletes in Bobby Thompson and Iron Bibby. Mm -hmm. uh, so the actual log lift started off at 170 kilograms. There was four athletes couldn't, couldn't uh, say lift the first yeah. lift, so we had that in Ivor Schmoucheless, that in Kevin DeRuiter, uh, Power Dwyer, and mm -hmm. Ron O'Hainan. Yeah, uh, Pat, he, I think he injured his right, left shoulder. Left shoulder, yeah. training for a world's strongest man. Yeah, I think that overhead, like what, what do you call it? It's like a Viking press kind of thing? No, it's not Viking press. It's like a snatch from the overhead. What do you call that? I don't even know how you call that. Mm. But that's where he, I think he tried 220. He couldn't stabilize it and then just went over, over his... Uh, back yeah. and I think he tweaked his shoulder whatever he, what happened it, it, some uh, sort of damage yeah the there's a damage because there's bruising based on his uh, Instagram photos and it doesn't look good and I think that affected him in a big way yeah. um, because he usually he's good for 170 long yeah. you know and this time he it wasn't going it wasn't going on for him at all he tried it I think he had <clears throat> I think he did a second attempt at yeah just obviously just usually if you don't get it on the first try yeah. Second try, what, 95% of the time you won't mm, get it? Yeah, there is, sometimes he, he does, like uh, Janashi, he had to do twice, yeah, 170. He lock it out. Yeah, he didn't lock it out, and it seems like his right uh, the triceps is not there yet. And that's, uh, if it's not there yet, after how many years now? When so, did he tore it? Last no, 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 longer than that. Uh, he toured when there was a medley. Remember when uh, Mateusz Gilekowski just destroyed everyone? Oh, Dumbbells, yes, yes, yes. log. Uh, uh, 2019? No. 2018. Was it 19? I think 19. Yes, when Lindsay won. Yes, when yeah, yes, well, yeah. 2019. So it's now like three years. Three years, yeah. And it doesn't look that it's getting better. So I think uh, it doesn't really look good. So 
is it did the surgery didn't go as planned or rehab, or rehab didn't yeah. go as planned? I don't know. But uh, if he won't gonna address that, his overhead he will, will suffer. He will yeah. suffer and suffering now. And if you can't uh, do at least one ninety log, it's gonna it's be tough, very it's hard tough to place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be very hard. Yeah. So other than that, the main so the main athletes at the time. So we had Bobby Thompson yeah. trying to go for the the American log lift record yeah. of two hundred eighteen kilos. He did 200 and it seemed like he struggled as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 218 was, yeah, was so a lot of kilo of a jump. Yeah. And he got injured? Yeah. I don't know how serious hamstring. the injury is. Was it the hamstring? They said he really went, went for the hamstring anyway. So. I think he was pointing more as well to the adductor. Well, it's the same in, the, in that area, yeah, but yeah. like it depends how bad it is. But that's what he gets for trying three attempts at 218 kilograms of a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. lot. That's a lot. I think like when it comes to that, like you want to show that you're not a quitter, but at the same time, yeah. when it comes to the max weights, you're like, I don't know if it's three good. If you, if you have, if you couldn't get it the first time, most likely you won't going to get it because you're already proper warmed up. And if you can't get it, I think it's just uh, a bit of a, maybe that, like I said, maybe there's a small chance that you might get it. Yeah. But most of the times you, you, you can't. If you didn't get it from the first time, you pretty yeah. much you have And then you had the likes of Luke Stone. Unless, unless you uh, Iron BB. Iron which BB. <laughs> Actually, like four times. Yeah. The uh, so then you had the likes of Luke Stallman, who got 218 yeah. kilograms, went for the 230, got it to the shoulder, mm -hmm. just couldn't get it from the shoulder up. When it comes to log, he is the most smoothest now. Yeah, he's got the technique. Yeah, he got the technique. It's like good. Look. His 200 just flew yeah. off. It's like a coil spring. It's just. Yeah, bang, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So other than that, there was no one. There was no one actually else broke two hundred other than no. say Bobby Thompson, mm -hmm. Iron Baby, and Luke Stone. Yeah. So, so only uh, Luke was counted for the competition overall. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So. so I don't know why he two, he he got two eighteen. He didn't really need it to go after that. Yeah. And then he attempted two thirty just to try it. Just to try it. Yeah. It was very just impressive the way he did get two hundred thirty. Like it was yeah. very smooth to get yeah. to the shoulders. Yeah. 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 So fair play. Yeah. So, but all in all, I think he wasted a bit of energy there as well. Yeah, they probably didn't yeah. need. And yeah. so that concluded the first event. Mm -hmm. So Luke Stallman obviously came in first, yeah. getting two hundred eighteen kilograms. Alexei Novikov in second with one eighty five, and Pablo Car uh, Pablo okay. Yeah. yeah. And then in third place with ten points. Also. He has a very weird technique as well. He has that technique that. Uh, uh, the split, like a split yeah, out kind of. Yeah, Rob Kearney, Kearney has, yeah. sort of, but he has like this, but he, he goes them. literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spreads, like it is, but like when you get to 200, I think it's going to be very hard to yeah. apply that technique. Yeah, you know? yeah, like if a foot slips, it could be. Yeah, 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 and he already was, even with 180, he was very unstable, yeah. but look, he got it and he's not a very big guy either. Yeah. Like body wise, so he has that technique and it works for him. Very well. Yeah. Um so on to the second event then we had the deadlift ladder. So yeah. we had five weights ranging from three hundred kilograms to four hundred kilograms. Mm -hmm. So we had three hundred kilograms, three twenty five kilograms, three hundred and fifty, yeah. three hundred and seventy five and then four hundred. There was no athlete who was able to finish all five. Yeah. So main say struggle was the three seventy five mm -hmm. afterwards. I think it was more probably a time issue. Yeah. For a lot of it, as well as say stamina yeah. and fatigue from the from what say four massive weights mm -hmm. increasing so a lot of athletes sort of straps actually loaded which we thought at the time there was someone said in the comment section the straps are not allowed at yeah. all but they were allowed i was i was surprised yeah i was surprised yeah. you know uh, some some guys tried to um uh, like gavin built he tried to lift three 300, 320, and 350. 350. You try to do off for 350. Yeah, without. Shots. And just Bill Casman, I was like, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was five, five yeah. athletes didn't get 375. Uh, all in all, I did like the event. I liked the event. Uh, uh, now we we'll probably need to talk a bit about Myers performance, you know? Yeah. So it wasn't great. Uh, um, he had a rough. We coming up to competition, and hopefully he'll come on the on the channel and tell him, explain his yeah, it's yeah. exactly what happened, and it's it's uh, uh, it's a bit uh, what to put it unfortunate uh, again. I don't know, like it's very hard to talk about it in a way, you know. Yeah. Well, his deadlift was okay, you know, and um, he apparently uh, he sustained. Uh, small injury during the deadlift uh, in his left knee 
from what I understand. Uh, and uh, he felt it straight away. I was talking to him a little bit last night after the competition, but uh, uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be able to come up on the channel and explain yeah, to yeah. all what's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. obviously the only people that know what they're feeling during the events is the people that are actually competing themselves. But uh, like you're saying, for the deadlift ladder, only yeah. four, only four and five lifts were actually completed. Mm -hmm. Rona Heinla went for attempt from the four hundred. Heinla, Heinla, Sarah was weird. Like it seemed like, did you notice his right leg? Yeah. He was doing the same uh, thing what um, uh, Belcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like he seemed he's straight. He drags, drags yeah, leg, I was like, in, yeah. I don't know Is what's going. On. Yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know what's going on with his right leg. I know that he sustained some sort of injury, quad injury. Um, at some point, like last year, I think, I don't know, again, like Marius is coming back now, he's riding from the airport, so I'll have a chat with him later on and he will be able to tell me what, what really yeah, is yeah. going on with him. And we'll obviously keep you yeah. informed as, as we get information, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so after the deadlift ladder anyway, we had the next event, which was the carry and drag. Yeah. Which I also thought was a very good event. So I actually started off with a 120 kilogram anchor mm -hmm. that had to be lifted, ran towards the end of the yeah. track, had then, to be hooked up to the yeah, chain, yeah. chain had to be then dragged mm -hmm. back to full length of the course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the and line. obviously the fastest time was the win. But yeah, the times were close as well, and yeah. the, as they usually are when it comes to like medleys. Yeah, the times are really close, and uh, yeah. we had the likes of Kevin Kel or Kevin the Rooter. Yeah, set the time first, who actually was yeah. a very, very quick time. Well, Again, seconds. he's. T tall dude, like he's yeah. six foot eight. I didn't. Yeah, I thought. You know that he's tall, but I thought he was six foot six. I thought he was, was six yeah. foot his. Crazy, like he was standing. Him and they even made Gavin Bilton look small. Who's yeah? Who's not usually the tall guy? Gavin Bilton is still big. Yeah, still big. I think he lost. What? Yeah, he was watching the live stream, and you know, you're able to comment underneath it. And yeah. some guys are like, like, did Gavin? Someone told us that Gavin Bilton lost some weight, and there's like question mark. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you seem like he's still, I don't know about that losing weight. It seems like to me he's still, still heavy, yeah, yeah. As heavy as he was last year, you know, so. But yeah. Um, so then in the carry and drag, we had Alexei Novikov who ended mm. up winning it, who completely blew everyone away. Yeah. Just how quick, he's so quick yeah. when it comes to the medley. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it was like you were saying, the times were very close mm -hmm. overall. Very close, yeah. There was, I don't think there was anyone that didn't finish everyone to finish the, the course in total. Yeah. So. Did the implements need to be heavier? I, I don't think so. But like, yeah. again, times is, 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 is pretty decent times and Novikov just being Novikov, you know? Yeah, he just he had to do, yeah. Super, super yeah. freaky. Just I just wonder like, did the, how much Luke lost a bit of points in the medley, I think. Yeah. Where did he finish? Luke finished in fourth. In fourth place. Oh, not too much. No. Okay. He didn't lose much. that much points. That many points, so. Yeah, but it's really still, well. if he had it done yeah. probably higher, higher there, it mm -hmm. would have been different. Well, well, not different going into the final event, yeah. but the points probably would have been mm -hmm. closer. Uh, so after the carry and drag, we had the power stairs. Yeah, uh, I was no yeah, like I, I I expected to I expected them to have the same setup like in two thousand and twelve as you had it. Yes, I, I, that setup that they had in Giants Live that was a good setup. Yeah, that it's it's it didn't matter the the way the, the the height of the athlete didn't really come into play that one. No, 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 no. It was good because I was worried for Marius uh, again. Uh, Marius, yeah, though. plus. Um, I have to say it, uh, Marius didn't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Uh, he sustained an injury uh, 10 days before the competition. We did the training session in the yard and we had only 200 kilos on, uh, on, uh, on the stairs. On the stairs, yeah. And he did repetition on the fifth rep, he felt something in his groin. He felt a pop and we stopped at that. And after four days, he saw a bruising uh, in his hamstring coming up. But uh, it's unfortunate thing that happened to him and uh, I was afraid of that event the most and I thought like uh, that event will cost him a lot of points but he did pretty well yeah. you know and, uh, and finished I think mid table yeah six, six which days. is not too bad I yeah. thought he won't be able to do even like uh, yeah. uh, 200 you know yeah. but uh, because that overextension that's where he um, ca uh, caught his adductor you know and yeah. the tear happened so by all in all, I think like I'm almost relieved, and I think that's uh, the w the way that the stairs are and the weights are. It's pretty safe for the athletes. Yeah, four weights. Four, yes. so four weights, three stairs. Each each step was a half meter tall. Yeah. Uh, sixty second time limit. Mm -hmm. One thing that got me is that even when 
the way it was actually up on top of the stairs, it had yeah. to be yeah. past, as yeah, yeah, yeah. The fully, fully on top. Of, yeah, yeah, which is which is understandable. Yeah, because I remember Shane Flowers was doing it against Marius. Yeah, and he had to go back and shuffle the way. I think Pa as well. He had to go yeah. back and like the, the couple of guys. So it's a good but but they were told to do that before the competition. So it's fair. Yeah, enough, it's fair enough. Yeah. So, the rules are rules. so after the power stairs, then we went on to the final event, mm -hmm. which was the Atlas Stones. Yeah. Uh, as we were informed just before the well, just before the event started, only about an hour or two before yeah. that, they were going on the lighter set of stones. Mm -hmm. Even though Giant State said they were going to do the heavier set of stones yeah. throughout the whole of the Giant State this year, but anyway, the, so they went on to the lighter stones, and well, there was only one, what two people that didn't finish the five yeah. stones. Uh, Marius being one of them. Yes. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Again, like it's, it's look, it's, it's tough. There was yeah. there was a f probably one or two small injuries that obviously we didn't want to say going into it. It is what it is at this point, like. But it's, it's crazy how just uh, the just that injury. I I didn't even know that he like the minute I saw his medley that he would anger. He was moving slower. Usually he's he's fast, you know, with medleys, and he was moving. I don't know what's going on, and uh, only after the competition he called me and he says he, during the deadlift he had some problems. He felt something in his left knee, which is left adductor. He's like, is it the tear weak in that side? I, I don't know. It's, it's very hard to say. But uh, before that, before that injury, Marius was was in a really good uh, shape, you know. So that's what happens when you start to train for these events that it's pretty new and like you know you don't know the setup and uh, just unfortunately yeah it happened what happened you know yeah. and uh look uh, eighth place is not a great place for him but after that he needs to make a decision what he wants to do that now you know because like in a couple of competitions he he uh, didn't do as well as i expected and himself as well so he needs to make all what's next for his career you know yeah but and uh, so <coughs> towards so at the end of the Europe Strongest Man this yeah. year, we went into a photo finish with Alexei Novikov and mm -hmm. Luke Soman for the actual, for the title at Yeah. And wow, they're very very quick at loading the yeah. stones, unbelievably quick. Uh, two of two of them at the very end, as you see, as whoever was watching the scene, mm -hmm. two of them were happy that so they just seemed like good friends. Yeah, yeah. at the end of it, so like good uh, kind of sportsmanship. I suppose. Yeah, Lovico tried to lift Luke. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Didn't <laughs> and then Luke, had to, yeah. Luke lifted Alexi, and then Alexi looked down, he thought he was going to fall. Yeah. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Yeah. So, yeah. in the end of it, there was only 0 0.25 of a second, so yeah. 250 of a second was in between them, so very, very close. Uh, deservedly going to a photo finish, I suppose. These two guys now, Novikov and so on, they were like uh, just just better than, yeah. a good bit better than everyone else. You have to say, like, yeah. these, these two guys were competing with each other. And uh, they deserve to be first and yeah. second, and he could have been either way. Yeah. So you know? at the end of the, uh, so <clears throat> the last or the final stands. So for the podium, we had Alexei Novikov in first, mm -hmm. with fifty-two points. In second, then we had Luke Stone on forty-eight points, and in third we had Konstantin Janashia on thirty-eight yeah. and a half points. So like you were saying, they were just above everyone else. Yes. So between second and yeah. third best, it was nine and a half points. Yeah. Which is a big difference on the podium. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, good show overall. Yeah. Shane Flowers had a good placing. He had a good placing, yeah. He's he's getting better all the time as well. Like uh, uh still is, uh, did pretty okay. Everyone was like, but the, these two guys, uh, the Novikov and Salm, they were just, uh, I think, yeah. so much better than the rest of the field, which is uh, which is a big uh, statement coming up to the world's strongest man. You know, as Luke said, it, he feels good. He was very happy to pull that 375, and uh, you never know, like if he. You know, recovers probably for the world's strongest man. Uh, he he'll, can have a good finish. Yeah, he yeah. can have a good finish. It depends where Tom is with his training, but it seems like yeah. he's he's gonna he will want to redeem himself after the Arnold Classic, fair, and yeah. he's the defending champion. So most likely he'll he'll be the one of the favorites to win uh, world's strongest man again. You know. So one another person that actually had a very good finish, and I thought on the very first Jane Slave was Pavlo Kardiaka. So his very first day like show and he finished yeah. in fourth place fourth against place. a stacked lineup yeah. of obviously of a lot of them have competed previously mm -hmm. in Jane Slave shows. So I just think say for it's what he's still enough as well also like yeah. I just think it's unbelievable. I know he yeah. won the official strongman games last year yeah. in, in his category, but 
that's the big step. Apparently, he even bet Novikov in Ukrainian Strongest Man competition. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They had, uh, you know, they have the, these leaflets. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and there was like a photo of Novikov being second and Kordiakov being first. You wow. know, he was even slagging off Novikov <laughs> because of it. Yeah. And so Kordiakov is, he has a bright future ahead of him as well. And he, to me, he still have a bit of growing to do, yeah. like muscle wise. And if he just matures enough till he's 30, he's going to be a big threat, you know, in an inter international competition. Hopefully so, hopefully yeah. so. So that was Europe's Strongest Man 2022. Uh, we thought it was a brilliant show. Uh, obviously, the light or the results weren't as well we thought yeah. in the predictions. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below what your predictions were and how your predictions fared. Uh, even if you don't want to say what your predictions were and you just want to leave a comment, yeah. a lot of people are doing it's it. Good for, for the algorithm. Good for the algorithm. We're for gaining a lot of subscribers in the last few days. Yeah. Uh, never a bad thing. No, <laughs> never a bad, bad thing. Bad thing yeah. uh, so if you haven't already, would you please like the video? Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Press the bell icon to stay yeah. up to date on everything that's Lalas Brothers. And we will see you next week for a new video on the Lalas Brothers YouTube channel. Peace. See you later.